India is taking a giant leap in its defense capabilities. The nation is developing a new powerful aircraft. This is not just any plane, it is a long-range strategic bomber. This project is known as the Ultra Long Range Strike Aircraft or ULRA. This bomber is designed to be a game changer for the Indian Air Force. It represents a major shift in India's military thinking. For years, India's focus has been on protecting its immediate neighborhood. This new bomber signals a new ambition. It shows that India is now looking to project its power across the globe, far beyond its own borders. This ambitious project is a clear statement of intent. It shows that India is ready to join an exclusive club of nations. Only a few countries like the United States, Russia and China have the ability to build and operate such advanced bombers. The ULRA is designed to be a key part of India's defense strategy for decades to come. It will give the country a powerful tool to deter potential adversaries and respond to threats from a great distance. The development of this bomber is a complex and challenging task. It requires cutting-edge technology and immense resources, but the potential rewards are enormous for India's security. The journey to create this bomber has already begun. Scientists and engineers are working hard on the initial designs. Dummy models have been created to test the basic shape and aerodynamics of the aircraft. The project is being managed by India's top defense organizations. These include the Defense Research and Development Organization, or DRDO, and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, or HAL. They are pooling their expertise to turn this vision into a reality. The entire nation is watching this project with great interest. The success of the ULRA will be a proud moment for India's indigenous defense industry. The bomber is more than just a piece of military hardware. It is a symbol of India's growing confidence and technological prowess. By building its own strategic bomber, India is reducing its dependence on other countries for critical defense equipment. This move strengthens the country's Make in India initiative. It also boosts the skills and capabilities of its own scientists and engineers. This project is not just about building a weapon, it is about building a self-reliant and powerful nation. The Ulra is set to redefine India's place in the world and ensure its security for the future. One of the most incredible features of India's new bomber is its tremendous range. The ULRA is being designed to fly over 12,000 kilometers without needing to refuel. This is an enormous distance. It means the bomber can take off from India and reach targets in almost any part of the world. It could fly to North America, deep into Europe, across Africa, or all the way to Australia. This intercontinental reach is what makes it a true strategic asset. It gives India the ability to respond to threats that are very far away. This kind of capability was previously something only a handful of global superpowers possessed. To understand how impressive this is, we can compare it to other famous bombers. The American B-21 Raider, one of the newest and most advanced bombers in the world, has a range of about 9,300 kilometers. India's ULRA aims to surpass that by a significant margin. This incredible range is achieved through clever design. Engineers are considering a swing wing design, similar to the one used on Russia's powerful 2160 Blackjack bomber. This design allows the wings to sweep back for high-speed flight and extend forward for better fuel efficiency during long-distance cruising. It's a smart solution for a plane that needs both speed and endurance. But a long range is useless without powerful weapons. The ULRA will be armed with some of India's most advanced missiles. Its main weapon is expected to be the BrahMos-NG missile. This is the next-generation version of the world-renowned BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. The bomber will be able to carry up to four of these deadly weapons. Each BrahMos-NG can strike targets with pinpoint accuracy from a distance of up to 450 kilometers. This means the bomber can launch its attack from a safe distance, well outside the range of most enemy air defenses. This combination of long-range and powerful missiles makes the ULRA a truly formidable platform. The bomber's arsenal is not limited to just one type of missile. It will be a versatile weapons platform capable of carrying a wide variety of armaments. This could include short-range ballistic missiles like the Agni-1P, which can deliver a heavy payload. It may also carry precision-guided laser bombs for striking specific targets with minimal collateral damage. In addition, it could be equipped with anti-radiation missiles, 
which are designed to seek out and destroy enemy radar systems. This flexibility allows the UL Ray to be used in many different types of missions, from strategic strikes to tactical support, making it a valuable asset for any military operation. The Ulra is being designed to be a ghost in the sky. A key feature of this new bomber is its stealth technology. This means it will be built with special materials and have a unique shape that makes it very difficult for enemy radar to detect. The goal is to allow the bomber to fly into heavily defended airspace without being seen. It will be like a phantom, able to approach its target silently and deliver its payload before the enemy even knows it is there. This radar dodging capability is essential for survival in modern warfare, where advanced air defense systems are common. The URO will be a master of hiding in plain sight. Beyond its stealthy shape, the bomber will be packed with modern technology. It will have advanced sensors and electronic warfare systems. These systems can jam enemy communications and confuse their radar, adding another layer of protection. The aircraft will also feature highly automated flight systems. This means computers will handle many of the complex tasks of flying the plane, especially during long and tiring missions. This allows the human crew to focus on the most important parts of the mission, like identifying targets and making strategic decisions. It is a true partnership between human and machine, working together to achieve the mission objectives successfully. Building such a complex aircraft is a massive undertaking. No single company can do it alone. That is why the ULRA project is a collaborative effort. It brings together the best minds from across India's defense ecosystem. The project is led by the government's Aircraft Development Agency, or ADA. It works closely with the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, for Technology and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, CHAL, for Manufacturing. This team of experts is combining their knowledge and skills to overcome the many challenges of building a state-of-the-art bomber from the ground up. It is a national mission that unites India's top defense organizations. India is also looking for international partners to help with this project. Building a modern jet engine is one of the most difficult parts of creating a new aircraft. India is in talks with countries like Russia and France for technology transfer and assistance. The engine for the Ulra could be a powerful new design, possibly based on the American GE-414 or Russia's advanced NK-32 engine, which powers the Tu-160 bomber. This international cooperation is crucial. It allows India to access the best technology available in the world while also building its own capabilities for the future. It is a smart approach that combines global expertise with local innovation. The development of the Yulra bomber is incredibly important for India's national security. A key reason is its role in strengthening India's nuclear triad. A nuclear triad means a country has three ways to deliver nuclear weapons. From land, from sea, and from the air. India already has land-based missiles and sea-based submarines capable of launching a nuclear strike. The ULRA will provide the third leg of this triad, a credible airborne platform. This is vital for a second strike capability. It ensures that even if an enemy attacks first, India will have a bomber in the air, ready to retaliate. This makes any potential attack on India unthinkable. This bomber also enhances India's position as a major power in the world. Having a long-range strategic bomber is a symbol of military strength and technological advancement. It puts India in a very small and elite group of nations. This capability sends a strong message to the rest of the world. It shows that India is not just a regional power, but a country with global reach and influence. The Yulra will act as a powerful deterrent, discouraging other countries from taking actions that could threaten India's interests. It is a tool of peace through strength, helping to maintain stability in a complex world. So what comes next for this exciting project? The road ahead is long, but the work is progressing steadily. Engineers are finalizing the designs and testing materials. The next major milestone will be the construction of a full-scale prototype. According to current projections, the first flight of this prototype is expected to happen sometime between 2032 and 2035. This may seem far away, but building such an advanced aircraft takes time and careful planning. 
Every step is being taken with precision to ensure the final product is a world-class bomber that meets all the expectations of the Indian Air Force. The world is watching the development of India's new bomber with great interest. Military analysts and defense experts are keen to see how this project will change the balance of power in Asia and beyond. For India, the Yura is more than just an aircraft. It is a symbol of its aspirations and a testament to its growing capabilities. It represents a future where India is secure, self-reliant and a leading voice on the global stage. As the project moves forward, it will continue to be a source of national pride and a cornerstone of the nation's defense for many years to come. Thanks for watching. Please like video and subscribe to our channel Tech Trends.